Oh, oh, hello, hello Fox, Fox too. I didn't see you there. How are you this morning? Are you feeling sensual on your, it's a sensual Saturday here in Chicago. <laughs> I'm not hungover. <laughs> this is X's and Ho's here for easy listening on your Saturday morning, April 1st. Look at us go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for those of you just joining us for the first time, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Welcome. We've missed you. It's been three months. Time. It's been some time. This isn't an April Fool's Day joke. We're really here. We're here. We're really here doing a boss too. I know it's unbelievable. Oh, but here we are. That's Justine. That's Jackie. We're sisters. And this is a channel about cross stitch. About cross stitch. Sometimes Justine's knitting. And turkeys. Turkeys. And I'm starting to shove possums in there. Yep. Sometimes about Jackie's love life where she asks for advice that she doesn't take. I take <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's about my love life, mostly my love life, but also the shenanigans I get myself into. <laughs> The lady with a cat in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Big ass dumb duck cup. <laughs> um, I'm in Chicago. Justine's in I'm Chicago. in Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. um, we live separate lives. Very. But the thing that brings us together, besides it's our, our mom's life, uterus, our, in our mom's <laughs> uterus, um, <laughs> just think of it. We were both inside mom once. <laughs> that's uh there was something i saw where it was like me realizing that everybody in my home has been yeah. inside my ears. it changes your perspective a bit <laughs> uh oh uh, good times good times anyways just seen what's what's been new i think what last time we filmed was january 1st mm -hmm. Three long months. Really not that long. Feels like it's been pretty quick. Um, seems like after Christmas break, the girls went back to school and we've not had as much illness. Knock on wood. Um, so we're finishing up spring break right now. Mm. I worked through it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Did you get to work from home at all? Uh, I did work from home Monday. Okay. We went to the Steel City Stitchers retreat. That was last weekend. Ooh, I'm still awesome. I'm still exhausted from that. Like I'm no longer exhausted. Now I just miss everybody. And I'm like looking at maps, trying to figure out where I'm going to move so I can be closer to everybody. <laughs> oh, like move away from your family? Or is your family yeah. with you? Yeah, just me. Oh, <laughs> so no, it was awesome. Um, yeah, it's been pretty mild. We kicked off the new year and that was kind of my goal was just that we were going to focus on just getting through the school year and being home and not worrying about anything else. Mm -hmm. Summer months, though, like here at the end of the month, I'm going to a wedding in North Carolina. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of like the kickoff to doing things. Summer. What have you been up to? Uh, what have I been up to? A lot, actually. Oh. Um, from those of us that don't know, I got a new job. So Jackie is, you know, I'd say 75% financially stable now. Um, but it's, uh, it's work from home gig, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I won't go into the details of the job because it's a lot, but my title is a content production assistant. Nice. So, yep, got a new job. Um, so I was able to drop working at the bougie liquor store 
and I was able to drop babysitting, but do I still pick up babysitting jobs like an idiot? Yeah, I do. Um, and I'm still working at IO and, uh, yeah. And a lot of performance opportunities have popped up with that. And we had a, my friend Sarah and I, we have an, an improv duo team called She's Boygan, like Michigan Sheboygan. And um, we had a month long run at IO for doing two prop and that wrapped up last Sunday. So that was a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm just, just working now. I just work. <laughs> but a job. Just working. Just working. Just working and staying home and realizing that I... Like, cause I, I work at IO on Wednesdays. So when I'm walking to the train, I'll go, oh my gosh, I haven't been outside of my apartment in like 48 hours. <laughs> Why do my legs hurt? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm still single everybody. So in case you were dying to know that, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, that's what's been going down. I feel like we're super boring today. I, I'm just so tired. I'm on over. I was. Anyway, I did my first improvised musical last night and I'm just exhausted. I celebrated too hard. Just, you know, I just want to confirm are there children screaming in the background? They're in the basement. Oh, they're in the basement. <laughs> I shut the door. Obviously, it didn't work. But yeah, they're uh, playing video games on the big screen in the basement while Cyrus works on his studio. So nice. Well, Justine, shall we get down to business? Sure. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, Drinking Diet Coke, so I might be a little belchy. How do these even, how do floss tubes work anymore? I know. I'm like so out of it. Uh, Finishes. So let's. Yeah. Uh, do you have any fully finished objects? F F hose. Hose. F F hose. Yes, I do have one. Oh. I finally have one. I probably could finish it more. That's what she said. But I'm I'm content. I'm content. That's all. Um, oh. Those like little Gucci. Oh, there's the back. <laughs> it's a Gucci home. No, it's not Gucci house. It's Gucci home. That's um, cute. Is this for you? Yeah. I put, I mean, maybe I'll give it to someone. Who knows? But it's been hanging it's up, up in your apartment. Yeah. It's been hanging in my little entryway. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think I did this in like January, beginning of January. I was on a roll. Um, like I finished our pickle, the triple Xmas ho yeah. sal. Kosher pickle wholesale. And oh, I guess I could have shown that as a fully finished. I don't think I had it finished. That's true. Um, but it's like I finished that and then I did this and then I burned out. I was like, oh, and then I didn't stitch for a while. But um, this is the only FFO I have. Uh, yeah, Justine, do you have any FFO? I do. Oh my God. Both of us at the same time. That's what she said. So here is my. Christmas pickle. Got a little pickle. Just a little magnet. Oh, look at that backing. Cute. Nice. That was our triple X Miss Kosher pickle ho oh, sale. sale. Yep. I and think then a couple of people joined us on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was fun. And then my next finish this is a gift I did for mom for Christmas. And then I had to borrow it because I have one to do for St. Patrick's Day, but take it back. Oh yeah. That was cute. And then it's just a little like disc and it sits in the the bowl. Mm-hmm. It's heartware, uh heart and hand needle arts, they're little heart tart bowls. Little balls. Those, those are my fully finished objects that I did. Nice. Nice. Um any, I guess, just regular finishes? Yes. Oh. Oh. Do, do you have any? Um, I have the pickle, but I'm just too lazy to get... You guys just saw that pickle? Yeah, mine okay. looks just <laughs> like that. Like. But it still has <laughs> the paper around it. The. <laughs> All right. So, um, 
at the end of February, I stitched my wee bird St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. Oh, little St. Patrick's Day. This is on a 28 count Jody. Oh, Lugana. Jody. Oh, my God. So that just leaves Thanksgiving. Here's Christmas. I did Christmas on the same one. Cute. I like that color. So Christmas or Thanksgiving is the only one I have left now. So this year they should all be done. Ooh, ooh. And then my next finish was a model stitch for a shop. It's for the Bestitch Me shop in Moline, oh, Illinois. You, you finished it? I, I finished it last night. Nice. It was my goal to have it done before April 1st. So this is the Rose and the Giant Pear by Hands Across the Sea oh, Designs. Wow. Beautiful. And this is on 36 count linen called Cinnamon Dyed by Bestitch Me and it's with all the call for DMC. Ooh. That's nice. That's cool. Look at you. One thread, one thread over two. Yeah. Still don't so, understand that, but okay. <laughs> Tell me about one it. One strand of floss. Don't explain, don't explain, I, I, I'm hungover. Right. I can't retain new knowledge right now. <laughs> Those are my finishes. Nice. 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 Um, no. Wait. So now I need to come to Chicago so that we can go to do the bestitch me shop and I can just hand deliver it. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we gotta figure out a weekend because this is the first time besides babysitting gigs that I keep saying yes to. Um now that I because I owe have a real I job have to work Wednesdays and Friday nights at IO, but it's like, oh I've got weekends. This is a new feeling. Mm hmm It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, is this what it is like to be a human? Mm -hmm. I think my boobs got bigger. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Carrying on. Um, I had to add that. <laughs> I had to ruin a precious moment. Um, yeah, whips. Well, hips. From... Hashtag touch your piece. Touch, hashtag touch your piece. Uh, from the Mystic Stitch. We've got uh, Star Wars. Yep. That's from Brittany, right? Yes, this is from Brittany. I'm Brittany, oh my God. Still love this pattern, but oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I think this was a new purchase by... <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Like 17 by 20 by 20? I don't know. I've got this big old boy. <laughs> Um, that's what I've been working on. <laughs> yeah, this is my big one yard of Bestitch Me fabric, Cosmos. Been just using called for DMC. <laughs> and when I work on it, I'm just sitting here like, just sit, it rests on my belly. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hey, whatever works. Yeah. I think this Q-snap was new. This was like a new thing since the last time. Then these two I've just been full blown flipping back and forth. Uh, from Rebel Stitcher, got the Before the Devil Knows. I was working on this one a lot at Steel City Stitchers, but this is also on a Bestitch Me fabric fall foliage. This DMC got my little Rebel Stitcher voodoo needle minder. I'm off on the body, like I. Put in an extra thing on the arm so i'm like redoing recounting that just making sure everything looks even mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that one and then from erica michaels needle art designs blessings be more this was a new start on saint patty's day how fitting and Let's see. Which, uh, and I've got the majority of like, well, half of the border put in. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure 
I think this fabric might be a fangirl fibers from one of the Star Wars boxes, like that I okay. purchased. Yeah, I think it's that. I think it's that one, but it's like a fourteen count. But also got my Rebel Stitcher. Um, what's his name? Patrick O'Shanahan. Patrick O'Shanahan. Yeah. Just and uh, yeah, those are all my those are hips. Those are all my hook whips. Nice. Um, I'm doing whip go again this year. Same concept as last year where I'm just putting in, I have to touch it for a day. Touch my piece for one day. That's the goal. Uh, I do have other goals set for specific things that are in my whip go, but for every month, the only objective is to get it out for a day. So my first one, these were my January calls with Nordic Holiday by the Prairie Schooler. I like that. This is a 28 count Lugana from Bestitch Me called Banshee. Ooh. Ooh. Those colors. So I got one square in. And actually starting this month, my goal is to do one square a month. Nice. Because that would put me at a finish in December. Solid. Um, my second January call was Hands On Designs Bottle and Brush Tree Farm. I had started this, what, 2021, the 12 by 12. Yeah. I re I, yeah. I, rem I recall that. This is on a 32 count white shell i think vintage country mocha lugana so i finished out all my lettering got this border in and started on these trees i'm obsessed with that needle minder i think i say that every time yes you do <laughs> i love it okay my calls for february were glory and julius gobble free and Grimm's Fairy Tales. It doesn't even. By Clouds Factory. <laughs> um, Grimm's Fairy Tale. I don't have a printout. I do have a picture of it. Thank you. That was the stitch along a couple years ago. This is on a 16 count Ada called Jade. It was the called for. Uh, it's a little more on the green side than what it's showing. But let's see my little stack of animals. Yeah. Love a good stack. And then my next one, a gobble couple, Glory and Julius by RATM. This is on a 32 count white shell called Stone. I'm not going to have enough room to do both of them on here. So I'm just doing Glory. Glory. Uh, I got quite a bit in. When I started, I only had this little red, like this one motif. Mm -hmm. So. If you go back in the X's and Ho's archives, you'll see, no, I don't even think you've ever worked. Like, yeah. Um, and then whip go for March was my Thurza Priscilla Dawes by Hemlock and Rye. This was a birthday start last year. And this is on 32 count Frankincense Gold and Myrrh by Live and Die LA Studios, Lugana. Nice. So that's what I have on her. Is that um, all that you got in at Steel City? Yeah, I did. Or did you add? Okay. I put in like this green here, mm -hmm. this little pot down here. I think I did like part the body on this little butterfly. Nice. And then my last one 
This is called We'll Take a Cup of Kindness. And it was a freebie from Heartstring Samplery. Um, and I started this as part of the 12 by 12 as well. So this is what it looks like on the website. And then this is what I have so far. Oops. When I started, I had in just the green stretch of border here and then to about here. So I got quite a bit in on that. That could be a finish this year if I get back to it. You sit with this it. is on 32 count, the Stitch Me Lugana called Winter Blues. I think it was like December, maybe December 2021. Club. <laughs> Um, and then I had a new start at StitchCon. And that was on this little autumn harvest turkey. And there's what I have in. Those. Oh, where's that needle minder from? I don't know. It just showed up. I got apples. Yeah, those were my... What? What'd you I say? Was say? I got apple juice today with <laughs> my breakfast order. So nice. Just, yeah. I can't stop. Yeah, those are my hips for the last couple months. Yeah. Yeah. God, what happens next? Future plans? Is that when we talk about future plans? I guess we could, and then we can go into hall. Mm-hmm. Future plans. What are your future plans for stitching, Jackie? I'm glad that you specified that, Justine, because I know. I have to. They get married. <laughs> oh, God. Have another, adopt another cat. <laughs> um, future stitchy plans. Um, I'm kind of dead set on finishing the Rebel Stitcher before the devil knows and then the Erica Michaels um St. Patrick's Day piece like those are two that I'm like I think I could if I sit with them I can knock these out um I do want to get back into the Star Wars <laughs> Mystic Stitch pattern yeah um I think I when I started it maybe two days in a row I was like okay I'll just stitch a box or like a 10 by 10 box and like just ch chip away at it. But I need to think of, I need to work on a better method for like how to swap flosses or whatnot. Like I know I can set up a bunch of needles with different threads. Yeah. Park. yeah I gotta, I gotta figure all that out. Um, Talk to Matt, NBC stitcher. Yeah. He, he was, he, he, has, he was explaining that to me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think those are my future plans. I'm going to maybe try doing a new start today to try maybe and stitch a birthday present for a friend that I will be seeing later today, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I, I guess I could start it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can. <laughs> um, yeah, those are my future plans. Uh, what are your future plans, Justine? So April, our whip go calls were, I my calls were my temperature tree and Yukon's Christmas list, which is another heartstring samplery freebie. Yukon is on my finish list for this year. Mm -hmm. So I might try to knock him out this month. Um, temperature tree, I'm my goal is to put 20 leaves on this month. And then I'm just going to every month, 20 leaves until it's done. So I don't think, I mean, I would guess maybe four months of doing that and it should be done. Mm -hmm. nice. um, I also am starting like my mini goals this month. It was, I wanted to finish my rose and giant pear so that I could clear that off my plate because that has been a big focus. Now my mini goals are putting one block on my Nordic holiday and I'll do that every month. Um, 
getting back to the story stitches Christmas classics mm-hmm. uh, to do one square a month on that. So I have to do Max this month from the Grinch. Um, I had started the Coffee Fobs by Heartstring Samplery, that series, all the little festive fobs. Okay. Um, so I, that's another one, one a month until those are done. And then my Jack's Tree Farm by Little House Needleworks. I think it's Little House. I don't, otherwise it's Country Cottage, but I'm pretty sure it's Little House Needleworks. Um, I'm almost done with the first square on that. So I want to finish that and I want to put the border on the big square. Nice. So those are my plans for April. And if I have time left over, then I'm going to focus on my Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna mm-hmm. and my Thursday because those were both birthday starts. Yeah. For two years? You have two yeah. years of birthday starts? I don't I have no birthday starts. Maybe this year I'll do a birthday start. And that, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a birthday start this year. You can do the hashtag... Touch your piece. <laughs> yeah, just hashtag touch your piece. Touch your piece. It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag touch your piece. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. I love, I love that journey for you. <laughs> Touching pieces. Yep. Touching penis pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Touch your penis <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my birthday hashtag will just be touch your penis yeah <laughs> touch a penis <laughs> touch my boobs touch my boobs, boobs. <laughs> touch my stitchy boobs Ugh. all right moving on <laughs> maybe we'll chop that part out i don't know yeah we'll see what my mood is when i edit this <laughs> uh. So um, I guess it, we, we go into haul now. So I this was a purchase pre-Christmas. Um, I did the Night Stalkers Calling Nightmare Before Christmas little bundle. And it came with this coffee mug, Nightmare Before Coffee, yeah. which I've stitched. I need to, I need mm-hmm. to FFO that. Um, coffee mug. I FFO my uh, and then it's this little hot chocolate. See, I've been holding on to this. <laughs> That's good. That's what you're supposed to do. And I got, it was like, it's like little stirs. Nice. Uh, that. And then got this little needle minder of like, it looks like a little baby oogie Aww, boogie. Oh, it's a little oogie boogie. A little tiny oogie boogie. A boogie uh, woogie. A little boogie woogie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then these like kind of Jack Skellington esque. Oh, those are cool. I'm like, floss straps. Oh. Yeah, floss strap. I'm trying to see if you could see the outline of his mouth. I had it for a brief second. There we go. Maybe you that's neat. That. Yeah, three of those. Then got some floss skeleton Jack, Jack Skellington. Yeah. I want to see if I can guess them. Sally. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna get this one. Halloween Town. Uh, pumpkin Cane. Pumpkin Cane? Yeah. I think maybe they tried to do a play on words instead of like Candy Cane. Pumpkin Cane. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. And then that was, yeah, that was the only purchase I had before Christmas because I was low on funds. But I was like, I need this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, folks, right. don't get mad if you see me go on my phone. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, oh. Okay, I've got two months of my cottage garden threads. <laughs> Here you from... go. I've got two months of haul. Well, I've got three months of haul, technically. Uh, okay. But two months of the cottage garden thread club from oh. Rebel Stitcher Designs. That was... February, no, January. 
And then this was March. All those greens, look at those. Those, they're nice. Um, I had picked this up. I want to say that the Etsy shop was like 809 Stitcher. And I think I lost part of it. <laughs> oh, my hat fell off. That's what it is. I just knocked this against something. So my little Santa hat fell off. But <laughs> it's a needle minder. It's a Sasquatch. He has a little Santa hat that I have to glue back on because I just knocked it off. <laughs> it goes right there. And he's got lights wrapped around him. Cute. Justine, would you get mad if I started just stitching while you're going? No, because okay. I had actually thought about stitching as well. Um, I had made a yarn purchase from a company. Well, it was a needle purchase from a company in Canada. And while I was on their website, lo and behold, I find this Jasmine custom bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I bought it. Nice. <laughs> you reselling her? What? Really well, no, I think, and I, it might just. Was it a distaste? I can't remember the name of the company, but oh. they they have purchased a few of her bags. She had like two or three oh, listed. Okay. But I was just like, oh, well, I might no. as well put one on my order. Why not? Um, and then I also, she had posted this bag. I saw that and was just like, I should do it. So, so I, can't. I got that one ordered. Sorry. Inside is just kind of a like a gold, a golden um, stitch and piece out of another Canadian shop, I believe. Um, had this turkey bag. It was on sale. Just when we thought it. like all the turkey fabric, like we you own it, it's like more just pops up. What? What? So, like, just anyway. when I think, like, all the turkey fabric, like, you have a piece of it or something, you know, in bag form, more pops up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep going. And then, so much to love bags. Her, she, on her website, had some leftovers from her November bag. Mm. So, I got that. Goddamn. And she does the cute little heart. Oops. In the back. Oh, I have one of those bags. Not the turkey one. Yeah, you have the patriotic one, right? Yeah, from Sue's. Hi, Sue's. Mm -hmm. Sue's. Hi, Sue's. And then um, she also had this that I ordered as well. Is that like a felt? Or oh, a needle miner. Oh, my. Okay. I'm, so, I'm like, what is that? So those are the bags that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> so many bags. Um, I guess I need to purchase more bags, but you keep this, making me bags. So this came in it's called the gather in. This came in the bag from so much to love as part of the November cute bag. It's from summer house stitch works. Yeah. That's a cute yeah. Bag. I like it. I would probably stitch that. So that's good. <laughs> Um, I ordered from Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Bobita. Uh, Thanksgiving Queen of the Needles. Cute. So that's a needle book. And of course, it has a, a turkey. It has a primitive hair. So you love primitive hair. Um, this comes from Pine Mountain Designs. I stitch on Wednesday nights at my LNS Stitching Bits and Bobs in Plainwell. And there's a group that is usually there on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. There's one gal that she had ordered this and I just thought it was adorable. And then on a stash unloading, I found the pillow that 
you finish it with. So I claimed the pillow oh, and then I went pillow. searching for the patterns. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. I remember yeah, I was so there. I was there for that one. Okay. Pretty sure. Um, and then I picked up a few things at my last stitching group. The last time I was there, it's been a few weeks, but I got Kathy Barrick's Wildflowers. And then I picked up the Fox and Rabbit Linen. This is a 40 count in seaweed. And that was the called for, for this pattern. Thanks. Uh, I picked up Erica Michaels Turkey Time. Um, and then I also got from the Sunflower Diaries, May the Spirits. Ooh. May the Spirit Girl invade your home at Halloween and be the happy. Aww. That's a cute. I want that one. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, And then this is my last bit of haul. So already? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in like the Michigan cross stitchers group on Facebook. There's a few of them. And one day a post goes up and I start getting pings from some of my friends and they were like, Hey, did you see this? There is a place in Kalamazoo that apparently like a thrift store that has a ton of cross stitching stuff. So first I contemplated calling work and saying I was going to be late <laughs> But I didn't. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> but as soon as I left work, I drove right there. And it was obvious it was either somebody's life of collecting cross stitch or a store closing. I mean, there were fabrics, floss, not as much in the patterns. Like a lot of like the old books and things like that, which makes me believe this is somebody's life stitch. Died. Probably Just, somebody died. It was an estate. It was a cross stitch estate. So the first thing I got, oh, I don't have the tag now, but this was a, oh, here it is. This is a Zweiger 32 count dark chocolate. Mm, chocolate. Linen. It's a fat half. Fat. <laughs> so a half yard of this fabric for three dollars. I think I'll always laugh at fat half and fat quarter. <laughs> I know. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Um then there was all of this perforated paper. So this is blue starlight, 50 cents, two pieces. A blue perforated paper, some white perforated paper. My goodness, makes so many ornaments. Some gold perforated paper, some silver perforated paper. Those were all like 50 cents to a dollar each. Then I got these two skeins of this Threadworks. I'm looking for a color. It just gives me a number though, 1154. But it's like a rainbow pride floss. Over dyed. This is cotton, 20 yards. And then for $10, I got this ring. And this is all dinky dyes, silken colors. Yeah, I think it's just dinky dyes and silken colors, like thread gatherers. Yeah, all of these silks. Nice. And I'm going to, It was that the last of your bit for the yep. haul? Um, I'll, I'll piggyback off of that. Because Stitchy Kindness, you were kind enough to grab me. I, I remember you texting me and you're like, what 
what kind of count do you or fabric do you use for Ada? And I was like, I don't know. Like, what? Why are you asking me all these questions? <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, and Justine was kind enough for six dollars. Uh, this twenty count Ada with like gold fleck. I don't, I don't think it's a lot. It's probably, I'd say it's probably a yard. Yeah. About. <laughs> So thanks, Justine. You're welcome. <laughs> you handed it to me and I was like, what the, what the hell? <laughs> uh, good times. You know what? Maybe I'll actually bust this out today and try to oh, stitch in that birthday. I guess I could pull flowers. I'll do that momentarily. Nice. I forgot about the thrift store. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, it happened so long ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Years ago, I went to the thrift store. <laughs> so that's all my haul outside of like Steel City Stitchers and Stitchy Kindness. So I guess that's not too bad for three months. No, that, not bad at all. I thought we'd be sitting here for an I thought we would have to start another Zoom session to continue on with your haul. So I'm very impressed that we're still only in number two. <laughs> oh, I guess I did get this. Oh, nice. Really quick. I picked this up at Target in the $5 spot. Oh, yeah. It's a little tray, but I was almost thinking if I do them small enough, I could do Prairie School or Santas in here. Oh, that's cute. Or some of my Nordic Holiday. Nordic Holiday. I'd have to paint it a different green if I was going to keep it green. Also, I see like those at Target, like so many cute things at target but i'd never buy anything because i'm like i know i'm never gonna finish it like i'm not i'm never gonna ff ho it um i'm just i'm that bad stitchy kindness time uh this is from cassia uh, you crafty it was it you crafty bitch yeah that's the um exclusive to the crafty you that rebel stitcher colleen designed yep and Cassia and are from the Michigan Stitchers Retreat. Got that's her LNS. Yeah. So thank you. Finally got it. I'm I know. <laughs> I kept forgetting. And I just put it so in my pocket. Awesome. So they also, awesome. yeah. I just tried to take it. Um, and then from my friend Tony in Australia um, was so kind and sent a little Christmas care package. From down under. That was bad. Oh my god. That was bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tony. Oh my god. I got too confident. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. From down under. <laughs> um, came with this lovely Christmas card. The Christmas pudding had mysteriously disappeared, and for some inexplicable reason, Norris found himself in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> this is a have, have a Merry Christmas. Um, but she sent along, it's like kind of Australian washi tapes. How oh, cool. Uh, this one's got like a little kiwi bird and like some. There we go. Oh, okay, you can see it now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oop. Um, and then I already I tried getting into these from Kiwi Collective Collective Vellum Die Cut Shapes. These are gorgeous. Like Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I, I need to get some um like clear tape or some, some sticky tape to get them in there because they're, they're too pretty. Those are pretty. I'll give you some, Justine. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and then this Australian calendar. Very cool. So let's see. What one was I just on? This was March. And for April. Oh, I like it. I remember when Grandma Jan went to Australia. I think she had a lot of, what is this? A lot of these colors. Is it opal? Yeah. She had a lot of opal. Oh, yeah. We have those little kangaroo opal pins. 
That's right. Um, and then this embroidery kit. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I haven't started it yet, but I will. And then she sent along some Christmas books for the girls. Christmas and uh, we wish you a Kiwi Christmas. Oh, thank you, Tony. So I'm excited for the girls to have these at Christmas. Time. Those are sweet. So yeah, that'll, that'll be fun to read. Well, thank you so much, Tony. It's too kind. That is very sweet. Um, and then I think that's all. Oh, Christmas gifts. <laughs> say, did I give you anything for Christmas? No. <laughs> I think, all right, this was from you, right? Just seen Tumbleweed yes. from Forbidden Fiber for Christmas. Justine got me this. <laughs> Tumbleweed from Forbidden Fire Fiber. Oh, so Ada Zweigar, 14 count. Yeah. That. Mm -mm -mm. And then Justine spoiled me extra with some project bags. The first one <laughs> Donuts and don't mind all the floss. This is the bag I'm using for my Mystic Stitch Star Wars. <laughs> They're Christmas donuts. A Christmas donut bag. They are Christmas donuts. I don't think I ever. Did you not know that? God. I just saw donuts and I went, hello. Um, and then this bitchin' Wonder Woman bag with a little. Is this from my, <laughs> the Bobbins? You can't really put any. Maybe your needles. Okay. <laughs> it's like a change purse. <laughs> With a little change purse. I wouldn't even fit a condom, Justine. Unless I took it out of the packaging. And then it's just ruined. <laughs> <laughs> but Justine made me these awesome bags for Christmas. Thanks, Justine. You're welcome. And then, okay, and now officially, that is all my stitchy kindness pre Steel City Stitchers. Yeah. So the other day, I got in the mail from our dear friend Lynn from Lynn X Stitches. This Hi. sweet little sweet little card. That's cute. Totally. And she went to Stitch Away in January, which would have been fun. Keepsakes host that. And it's like cabin in the woods stitching all weekend. It's nice. I'm like, ah. And she picked up this little turkey from <laughs> Artist Designs. Was that something we've been trying to, like, you've been trying to find? So, I had found it. Okay. But it was just one of those, like, on my wish list. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Lynn made it happen. So, I am super stoked. I love that it's just a little stand-up turkey. A little turkey. Super cute. So, that's going to go on my sooner rather than later pile. Because I'd like to have that one for or for Thanksgiving this year. And then for Christmas, ah, my sister commissioned a bag for me. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> from Jasmine Custom Bags. Oh my god, it's but we haven't even like I know about that. Wow. I know. I have been waiting to show this bag. Oh my god. It's been killing me. So uh Genevieve and Jackie oh, knocked we just, it out of we the were just park. Giggling away making this bag without you knowing. Oh. It is filled with Autumn leaves in the gobble gobble. Gobble gobble, bitch. I'm going to unzip. It's a quiet zip. I know. She has the best zippers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful inside fabric. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And then the cherry on top. Yeah, that's right. Look at that badass embroidered turkey. <laughs> this oh, oh yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <sighs> I almost cried. Oh, yeah, that was so, so much fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> man, if you want a custom bag made. Jasmine custom bags go over there and yeah that I mean wow 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 I feel bad that I completely forgot <laughs> you're like my sister and I'm like why did I even get to see for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing then, she also got me oh yeah <laughs> This sweet little turkey planter from the UPA. God, don't make out with it, please. So I got to think of something good to put in here. Uh, Friday morning, the retreat started. And we got in line. line out the door. Yeah. Get in. And that um, and we met Mike. <laughs> Mike, shout out. <laughs> Love you, Mike. <laughs> we, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll how circle to back on it. Mike later. <laughs> yeah, we'll circle back to Mike later. <laughs> but uh, we got into the stitchy room. We we claimed a table. Um, yeah, we were we were at a like a two tables. Yep. But it was predominantly our group we sat with last year. Um, so our our main table was me and Jackie. We had Colleen and Jen. We had Matt, MBC Stitcher. He had gotten in late Thursday night, so we didn't see him that night prior. Um, and then Kate, Stitchy Aardvark, um, also Fickle Stitches. That's her floss tube with Cheryl, the Blue Nose Stitcher. Um and then our friend Pam. We did not even know that Pam was coming. So that was a total surprise. It was awesome. So she got to sit with us and we got to visit with her a lot over the weekend. And then the next table over was Zan and Sarah Memphis. Sarah, um, Yamir, Bobby, Fiber. Zamia, Zamia and... Leanne, yes, Forbidden Fiber. Yeah, it was like Forbidden yeah. Fiber. And then we had like an open seat that we kind of rotated through the weekend so everybody could visit with each other. Um, so that was our main established area. Uh, we got in there and we shopped immediately. And the line was insane. That, yeah, that initial line. I was like, no, I'm not, I'll shop later after everybody clears out. And all the good stuff is probably gone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we shopped and we stitched and we visited. And it was just fantastic. And then we made um, a new friend circling back to Mike now. <laughs> yes. So, okay, while we were in line, yep. this gentleman comes up and he's like, hey. <laughs> we're like, hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he says, you know, my wife watches floss tube and I love your floss tube. <laughs> and it was surreal. It was a yeah. surreal moment. I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I'm so flattered. <laughs> and then it was funny because his wife, Thomasina, had stood behind me in line. And at one point I had heard her talking to somebody about her husband. And I almost turned around and said, is your husband's name, Mike? Your husband, Mike. <laughs> because I was so curious as to who his wife was. <laughs> but then later she approached us and yeah. introduced herself and said, you know, my husband. My and as soon as she said, my husband, like, Mike. <laughs> and she was awesome. We did um, get to, we didn't get to hang out as much as I'd hoped we would. We did get to, I think it was Friday night. 
we were all down yeah, in like that one like area that. and and visiting and they came down and sat with us for a bit so um, but yes but shout out to thomasina and mike uh they are out in california we got some stitchy kindness and she yep she made these awesome scissor fobs oh I'm like where's my camera yeah, wait okay says, what are these what are these justine so these are um technically they're for knitting needles to cover the tips but you put them on the tips of your scissors so that they don't poke holes through oh, the bags or anything cool wow so I've you, been... yeah you link it on and then you can cap it huh because this whole time I was like, I thought it was like some sort of weight while you're beating. And I was like, oh, look at these weights. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's a scissor cap. God. Okay. You learn something new <laughs> every day. With an day. LNS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was really awesome. And then we got to, um, I think we might have a picture. Maybe we'll insert a picture of uh, the peen we signed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that was the best that was the best ever yes so we'll insert pictures periodically if we have them and we think about who we're talking about and stuff like that um let's see at one point we went on a target and an alcohol run for let's see it was no but i did want to talk about the fact that so Target did not sell any alcohol. Oh yeah, Pennsylvania's weird. So beer laws. yeah, so Target doesn't sell any beer or wine. And we find out that okay, like stores do not sell liquor, but they might sell beer and wine. Mm -hmm. So then we look up places that we can go buy alcohol because we had a list. <laughs> we find this place and we drive there, and it's a drive-through beer barn, <laughs> which. I have seen before. I've never actually used one though. And it's a little overwhelming because it's like, I wanted to look, uh, yeah. give me this. Yeah. Um, and so Jackie's like, okay, we need, you know, some vodka. And he's like, nope, you have to go to a liquor store. For <laughs> oh, so we literally went to three different places and then the liquor store doesn't sell beer, but they had wine. Come on. Bring me my own alcohol next time. Like, <laughs> If we drive, I'm just, all right, packing yeah. me for the weekend. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with that. But, yeah, we just um, we got to spend time with awesome people. Um, we got, from the Steel City Stitchers, we got these cool bags this year. I've already packaged mine away. And uh, these nice up. cups. And then we got, it was nice. They did a cute. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Fools. Got him. Got this they did a QR code for all the patterns. So that was kind of cool. I actually hard. went on last night and like downloaded them all onto my, my book app. Um, and then we got the, the retreat exclusive. They gave us like a finishing pack and they had the finishing table like they did last year. I did not, stitch the retreat exclusive i think i might go back and just stick the little pierogi and make a little stuffed pierogi mm -hmm. but and then this for, for forbidden fiber she dyed an exclusive floss for the retreat so that's pretty cool exclusive so that was our swag and then um fortunately i was able to score a sweatshirt because my sweatshirt from last year I spilled salad dressing on it. It was oil based and I disgusted. Now I can't wear it out. Anyway, um, so we got a lot of stitchy kindness oh. at the retreat. Lots oh, of stitchy kindness. Um, we got these Haven Stitchery Serenity Stitcher. Made these awesome <laughs> pickle fobs. <laughs> I, I want some pickles so bad. Yeah, she the Etsy, I'm assuming this is Etsy, is Haven Stitchery. So I'm going to have to go check that out. Yeah. I like that. Um, Shannon T-Rex, she got these cute cards made. Um, she loves Pyrex as much as I do, possibly more. Oh, that's cute. Mine's a little... Yeah. 
but I'm going to use mine for knitting because it's got the little hook on there. But she got like kids Pyrex, like little plastic Pyrex dishes. And it's like, yeah, my T-Rex holds it perfectly. So that's cute. Nicely done, Shannon. Mm -hmm. um, Sally Ewans did her needle books again. I love these things. Fabric was so cute. I know. She, God, she's got such good taste. God damn everything she Sally. does, I love. Your goddamn rainbows. Taste. Everything. Yeah, you should follow her Instagram because she collects like impressionist or impression glass and everything is rainbows and beautiful and she does these amazing quilts and mm -hmm. she is super talented. So thank you, Sally. Um, Sarah Memphis E made these awesome scissor fobs in the Steel City colors 2023. Mine kind of reminds me like, like honey. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. I love it. Good memories right there. Yeah. Uh, from my sister. These oh. socks. Chick squad. Chick squad. Uh, Kate Stitchy Aardvark did these. She has some little needle minders. I turn string into things. Oh, here it is. What's I'm your superpower? I got a little polar bear. A little needle threader. Oh, my. Aw, that's cute. And then these cute little bags and a little pack of post it notes. And then she actually, um, I swiped this from her. She had, I think this is a 32 count linen. <laughs> From an owl forest embroidery kit that Ooh. she wasn't going to use. So I was like, I'll use it. Nice. Zan, crazy band lady stitches. She had some cute little button packs that she was passing out. So I chose the pumpkin and sunflower for all of my autumn stitching. Yeah, the seen and noted little stitch marker. marker. And then um, Zan, my gal. These turkey lights. I love them. Love them. Is that from Zan to me? Other oh, best friends, you. I am <laughs> I am a unicorn on a stripper pole. Uh, that's very accurate. That's very accurate. <laughs> Thank you, Zan. I am it's a dirty unicorn. Because I drank out of it this week yesterday. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Um and then we've got whoop, 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 um some floss drops from the disorderly stitcher. Yeah. And then these really cool um I don't I didn't get her name. Yeah, she had like vintage playing cards. Like here are the best. that she had made into floss drops and they were awesome. Like, like that's just such a good idea. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. So thank you so much for like such a cool idea. Um, Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. She had a bunch of one-off floss that like she had grocery like, dyed in her bag, and it didn't die the way she wanted it to or she's not dying it again that kind of thing and so she had this huge paper bag and she was just letting people go through it take what you want i don't want to stock it in my store i don't want to have to take photos of it i want to get rid of it so we definitely rated her flosses i'm just gonna yeah we got some awesome colors thank you leanne like I, I love this. I was going blues. blues and greens. Yeah, mine's were mine were yeah more. I don't know. I gotta find some awesome nice. though. Um, Pam had a piece of Xju Designs oil green forty count that she didn't want, and so she let me have it, and it's a very. It's a good green. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a little more bright. 
compared to how it's showing on camera. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then model stitched for Colleen, Rebel Stitcher Designs, on her civil samplers. And so she gave me a copy of the pattern as a thank you. So I got my little autographed mm -hmm. civil samplers. I did this one. I'll post a picture of me holding the pillow. Um, there she is. That's me. There she is. But beautiful. I recommend it. It's an awesome set of, of patterns. Nicely done, Colleen. Beautiful. Talented. Yeah, and then I got a couple of uh, stickers from Colleen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one. I grabbed a Pokemon one. I was like, yeah. You would. I remember this <laughs> name, but I love him. So we roomed with Sarah, Big Red. And she spoiled us. Spoil this rotten. I did not spoil her nearly as much. Same. <laughs> But she um, let us have our choice. She had made up some project bags that were super cute. So we got to pick out a project bag. Uh, like, oh. I love them. Super cute. Nicely done, Sarah. She's new to the project bag game. Oh. She's killing it. Yeah. Snap. We got a Big Red Human Crafter OG bag. OG original bag. <laughs> She but, uh, gave me some some floss drops, some stitchy embraces. Uh, I got a stitch a mug <laughs> for Sarah. <laughs> yeah, you better get on those zodiac stitches. So no, she said, Sarah, she, said she wanted number one dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah is it. always looking out for me on the stash unload sites when it comes to turkey patterns. She's got my back. Um, so she picked up a few. This is the country sportsman, too. Look at that turkey. God, it's massive. That is an awesome turkey <laughs> right there. Turkey. He is rotund. <laughs> and then she picked up this one. I'm too good looking for you to be cooking. <laughs> I want to stitch that one. Give that one. <laughs> And then this waxing moon, give thanks. Thank you. And then, what was that? Oh, and then this shepherd's bush, give thanks. And it's actually the kit. Oh, nice. Thank you, Sarah. Is that okay? And then Sarah's always looking out for me with possum patterns. <laughs> So, uh, this is Forest Friends Afghan, but there's a little, little white possum right there. And I, I think, because you gave me a stitchy blanket, year, well, 2020, and I think from all the possum patterns I'm slowly accumulating, I could just make a, a possum blankie. I think you should. And then you can get some possum fabric, like a fleece possum fabric to back it with. Well. Yep. Oh my god. Um Sarah also like I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad, Sarah. Um so she is in Jody's fabric club and has decided she doesn't like the Verdal mm. the 40 count Verdal anymore, which is something that I stitch on pretty regularly. I'm obsessed with. So she passed along. God damn. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Jeez, just see me. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> be, be putting out, Justine. I know. I know. Hey, when I uh, I'm requesting my my stash unloading invoice soon, Sarah. So you just wait. <laughs> um. So I think that's my stitchy kindness from the retreat. I think that is mine as well. 
I mean, not unless you count the raffle as stitchy kindness. Oh, MG. So Jackie will insert, hopefully, a video. Yeah. A video right here. From paper cream stitches. <laughs> and we're going to pull three tags for this one. Right. First one is 411899. 411899. Yes! <laughs> 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 Excellent raffles. That was another thing we got in our bags is we all got like 20 plus raffle tickets. Yep. Um and they had a Lowry stand. They had a, a oh, light. Fancy lights. Yep. They had a huge basket full of like Halloween stitching stuff. They had punch needle primitive magazines. They had gift certificates yep. to the Crafty U. Um, they I had think Cob kits, Cobweb yeah. Corner. Cobweb Corner. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, Colleen had donated some things. They had project bags, yep. um, paper crane. Stitches, yep. Catherine, she had donated a bunch of kits. Like, what a community. Like, like yeah. So the many prizes things. were awesome. Yep. Um, and I, here's my backstory. I mean, I guess the video would have already played by now. Uh, I won the first raffle prize of the weekend. <laughs> and I won a paper crane stitches kit. The uh, Tis the Season to um, Smash the Patriarchy. Smash the Patriarchy. Yeah. And I had Catherine sign it. I was like, suck it, bitch. Because, yeah, that's if you couldn't <laughs> tell what I yelled in the video, um, I told, I yelled, suck it, bitches. Or maybe I said, No, you just yelled, suck it. Did I just yell, suck it? Okay. I blacked out from so much. You yelled, yeah, suck it. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you get at the retreat, Jackie? Lots of things, Justine. <laughs> uh, picked up another pair of these little, little nice. scissors. Then from the Primitive Hair, Halloween Makers. Oh, that's cute. Was that a, a new release? I don't think so. Maybe it was. The Halloween Makers 2023. Oops. There you go. Um. I need to start another primitive hair or like, I know I've got two already going, but I'm like, yeah, I, need to start <laughs> but I need to start another, I need to start another one. Um, and then from the rebel stitcher, snow bunny guesses. That one's cute. And it's signed by the designer, Jackie. Oh, insert my. witty comment here. Oh. Insert what? Witty comment here. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. So cute. I hate it. Um, then, you know, when you're at Steel C the Steel City Stitchers Retreat, you better pick up some Jody fabric. It's almost you know it. illegal if you don't. Um, so I got a 16 count Ada. This kind of green. Mm -hmm. A very oh, Halloween. Green. Yeah, it's green. Is it coming up blue? It looks like gray i guess i see some green yeah okay it isn't doing it justice like like it usual um but it's yeah maybe it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. no okay it's like a, a mossy eerie green that's how i describe mm, it what are you gonna stitch on it something halloween probably <laughs> all right maybe halloween <laughs> There you go. You'd have to um, change your black to white. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then an 18 count, this like deep navy blue. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, my color just shifted. <laughs> yeah, it did. Did I just get warmer? There we Oh, there it is. Cold. Um, now I'm in cold. But yeah. Um, and that was all I purchased. I kept it pretty tame. Almost nice bought a Lowry that. stand, but at the same time, I'm like, Ugh. not making those big of purchases yet. Um, what do you Lovecrafts. Love crafts. 
website, they tend to run a lot of sales and they oh. sell a lot of cans. Okay. Well, you have one, up, and you've got one, right? Yeah, and I got mine from Lovecrafts, and I ordered that, like the stand and the extended arm, and got it for like right around what the cost of the stand alone was. Okay. With the discount that they were running. So, oh, nice. All right, I'll look into that. Also, I want to try a Lowry stand. I think um, Colleen was saying that she was like, I want to try it before yeah. I commit to it. Understandable. Mm -hmm. What did you buy, Justine? What if I come down to Chicago soon? I'll bring my Lowry stand and. Okay. Or next time you're home, whichever's first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I picked up "Hello from Liz Matthews," the vanity sampler. I like that. It says, youth and vigor soon will flee. Blooming beauty lose its charms. All that's mortal soon will be enclosed in death's cold arms. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's just so pretty. It is so it dark. Is pretty one. Yes. And then I picked up Happily Ever After from Rebel Stitcher Designs. There once was a woman who gave no fucks. Not even one. She lived happily ever after. I don't uh, think everybody knows this, but that uh, pattern is actually, that is about me. Yeah. Colleen just didn't want to tell people that. I was we all inspo. assumed. I was the inspo behind that pattern. Just seems a, I the picked up uh, these from. Me. Shut up! <laughs> I picked up these from Telen. Saying that I'm the <laughs> God, you fucking bitch! Oh, this, Merry Christmas! So cute. Yeah, Matt showed this to me, and I'm like, I'm buying this. It's really cute. I need it. And then I also got Happy Halloween. Hmm. That's cute. I love those colors. Yeah. Um, I picked this up from Summerhouse Stitchworks. It's a Fragments in Time. Mm -hmm. 2023. There's a lot of... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors in that. <laughs> Um, I grabbed this cute little Satsuma kit, a Mary Pear. <sighs> Adorbs. Cute, cute. They have such fun colors. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up this little ugly sweater mousse. Yep. From Canadian Stitchery. Cute. And they got it going on in Canada. Okay. I know. I was yeah, talking to Catherine. Going in Canada. Yeah, we got to go. And, uh, she's only like four hours from Kalamazoo. Okay. So I need to get my enhanced ID. <laughs> yeah, you do. So I can go see her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I picked up the most recent cryptid from Rebel Stitcher Designs. And also the you guys crafty your thighs. What that say? What? That cryptid one. What that one say? Spread your wings. Oh. <laughs> Spread your thigh. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, I see we got a little, little, little pair, little super snips. Little snips. Snip, snip. I picked up um. Two skeins, almond M and M's. That's your mirrors, silks. Yeah. Two skeins of her twelve ply in lemon bar and matcha. Ooh. Lemon bar, matcha. The lights kind of washing everything out now. Yeah. 
And so that'll be good for some high count fabrics. And then I too picked up some Jody fabric. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is 56 count linen. And so there's this. I didn't even know 56 existed. Gray. Oh. Like a nice. And then also, this is also 56. This is like a, a blue green. Mm -hmm. It's probably a little more on the teal. Yeah, spectrum than it's showing. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm picking up notes of teal. Notes of teal. Notes of teal. It's a little better back there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got. Very cool. The day after Christmas, we did a twelve days of Christmas knit along from Nomadic Knits. They have a magazine that they put out. Get off your phone. <laughs> and um, so I picked horrible colors. Ooh. I like the colors, but it was supposed to be stranded knit knitting. So you're supposed to have high contrast colors and oh, mine are not high nice. contrast. Okay. Um, either way. So learned a lot of new techni techniques, but this is the cowl that I made. Oh, cute. So, like you can see, I did color work here. Yeah. The mountains and the trees. Technically, uh, there is color work in here. You can kind of see the pink through there. Same with up here. Okay. But, like, we started, we just did rib knitting, and then there was, like, this, and then we went into lace knitting, and then stranded color work, and then mosaic knitting. Then this was solid. You were supposed to like go through and do um, like duplicate stitch over it okay. and you could wow. put words in. And then there was more stranded color work and more stranded color work cables. Dang. And then um, more ribbing. Look at so you. it was, it was really good for learning different new style. techniques. I had never done stranded color work before. So, and then and in January, I started my next building blocks class. My mom and I, well, mom and I did the blanket class last year that she dropped out of. I still have two and a half squares to finish because essentially from StitchCon COVID through the rest of the year, I was never able to get back to the class, mm -hmm. but started fresh in the new year. So I'm in a new book. It's called Building in Color. And this is all different ways to do color work. So this was the first month. This is called Intarsia Knitting, where you knit, like, Ooh. I had two skeins, or, yeah, two skeins of pink and a skein of gray. And you just pick up on each side. But it's a long, I haven't blocked it or anything yet. But it's just a long tube. Oh. And then they'll all get sewn together at the end of the year to make a blanket. Oh, cool. So that's the intarsia knitting. And then February. Sorry, I got floss stuck to it. I did this one. And this was double ended knitting. Mm. Where you would slide your needles back and forth in like knit a row and then slide your needles back and knit the next row with another color and wow. then you would purl back and then slide your needles and purl back so that was an interesting that was a cool technique to learn mm -hmm. um and then technically i do have a whip right now but i don't have it out here but march is short rows so short row knitting which i'll show on the next one but, so yeah those are my three colors though of my blanket will be this pink the blue and the gray. Cool. That's fun. Yeah. So that's what I've been working on knitting wise. Um, I also in January was commissioned to do a blank, a baby blanket 
And I ended up, I just did a car seat blanket and I felt bad. So I ended up making a little baby hat and baby mittens as well mm-hmm. for a coworker. Um, but that was gifted. Cause they like essentially gave me a couple weeks notice. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I worked on that and then kind of took a break from knitting because I wanted to get back into my cross stitch. And so my focus has mostly been on classes and just, I knit for class and I haven't done much other knitting outside of that. Nice. Well, so. right. Cool beans. Have you watched anything or? No, I have not feel bad because i see like on instagram and whatnot everyone posting like oh posted a video and just like oh i gotta watch that and then i never do up oh, trigger has come to say hello hey tricky what the hell's going on here why is all this stuff on my desk i like to sit here I like to sit here between the monitors um, have you been watching just yet? Have you been keeping up to date with everybody? I have, kind of. Um, so in the new year, there's always new cross stitchers. Mm-hmm. So I usually look for like floss tube number one around the new year just to see who is busting out. Yep. So cross stitch Kate, cross underscore stitch underscore Kate with a C. Um, she was one that I've been watching. Make Do Maker is another one. Let's see. Kensington Cross Stitch. Cam the Stitcher. Mod Cross Patterns. Antique Needle Workers. Um, I'm going to make you link all these people to see. Yeah, I will. But like, you know, then Lynn. Lynn and Ashley. Steel City Stitchers, Rebel Stitcher, Memphis Sarah, Zan. Matt hasn't put anything out in a long time. Calling you yeah, out, Matt. Matt doesn't put out. But he does make you moan. <laughs> what? <laughs> the crumble cookies. <laughs> yeah. Those are some good crumble cookies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Trigger's looking at me like, you're disgusting. You're sick. Yeah, so I think that's, I mean, I haven't watched a lot recently. I did watch Zan had put out her Steel Cities. Yeah, I do want to watch the post-Steel City retreat. Yeah, I watched that. I watched Colleen's. I think tonight I'm going to try to watch Sarah's most recent video, which was from right before Steel City. Yeah. Actually, in February, I didn't watch as much. Sorry, my camera's shaking. I didn't watch as much in February because I was listening to a lot of audiobooks. I got my audio Hoopla app back. I went in and renewed my library card so I could start listening again. So. <sighs> I'm pooped. But yeah. Sun's it's been out. A good couple of months. Nice. I'm counting down to October for the sweater weather retreat. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Everybody's going to be there. Are you going to be there? Yeah. You going to sweater weather? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> be there or be square. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Like D U M Dom <laughs> Dom D U M Double B Dom. <laughs> uh, All right. Yep. So yeah, I don't know when we'll film again. Yep. Hopefully. Uh, now that I know you have the weekends off. Yeah. Until further notice. Uh, <laughs> um. Thank you for watching X's and Hoes. If this was your first time here, we hope you come back. If you don't, 
you don't have to tell us or unsubscribe from us. Just don't, just, you don't have to watch us anymore. Just yep. stay subscribed. Yep. And ugh, the sun's in my, <laughs> ah, um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging with us. Uh, we hope we provided some form of entertainment to you for you whenever you're watching this. In the future, know that mommy and daddy love you. And it's weird. I'm rambling now. You can come, you yeah. Can come just <laughs> All right. Good birthday. day, floss tube. And, uh, oh, good day, can. stitches. Good day, stitches. Good day, bitches. Good day, floss tube. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna stop the recording now. <laughs>